Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is commanded provision, the role of divine direction. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of First Kings chapter 17 verses 4 and 9. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain you. The last day we spoke about how God commands blessings for us in different places and circumstances. Today I want to speak about the way to find out where our commanded blessings are. You will notice that in our anchor scripture, God led Elijah to the brook Kishon. Even though God led him there, the brook eventually dried up. And then God spoke again. The way to find out where God is leading you or how God is leading you is by divine direction. And divine direction must be sought continually. It isn't a one-off thing. Imagine if Elijah didn't hear from God again after the encounter by the brook Kishon. He would have become subject to the same conditions that others endured as a result of the famine. But God meticulously took care from the brook to the poor widow and then the systems that allowed for continuous provisions on the earth were activated because the voice of God kept coming. The point I want us to settle this morning is this. If we will be effective as believers, we must contend for continuous divine direction and guidance. The apostles of old walked in this dimension of life. You would often see in the Acts of the Apostles that they were restrained from going in a particular direction by the Holy Spirit or from walking with certain people. It is no longer the norm for people to wait on God to see what he has to say about their lives. A number of years ago, someone asked me what my next steps were at the time. I replied that I didn't know and I was waiting on God for direction. She looked at me incredulously and told me in clear terms that God would endorse whatever I did so that I should take a decision. My dear listeners, if God was called to endorse everything we we did, we would be his master, not the other way around. We are the sheep. Sheep are surrendered and they yield to the direction of the master. A number of people have asked me how they can be directed. Simple. Spend time with God through prayer and in the word and trust him. Direction will come, whether by voice or by gentle guidance into certain paths. Remember, direction must be got per time. Elijah had to move from the brook to the widow and then to the systems. Contend for divine direction per time. Many people heard God once but did not follow through and are in one calamity or the other. We must contend for divine direction all the time. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Please continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word. Is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.